the West German basic law, which is like the constitution, it guarantees the freedom of expression and the freedom of association in articles five and nine. But uh, there are also laws that temper these freedoms, right? They're not unrestricted. Uh, so for instance, throughout the criminal code, there are laws for the protection of young people, like laws against smoking, drinking. Uh, there's even a list um, to this day, there's a list of media that's harmful to young people, which is banned for young people's consumption. Uh, there are also laws against inciting violence or hatred. Uh, so this is a little bit like a hate crime law in the United States, but in Germany it would be things like uh, Holocaust denial or glorification of, of the Nazi past. So these things are illegal. And then there are laws that would prevent the formation of certain types of organizations. So, uh, however, notably, it, they were not prevented from forming uh, extreme right political parties. This was allowed uh, because it is a democracy, right? So uh, things like um, wearing the symbols of some organizations, though, would be outlawed. So swastikas, of course, and also the, um, the, the Waffen SS symbol are two excellent examples. So generally controls on free speech in West Germany are a little bit tighter than they are in the United States. Uh, overly, or sorry, overtly racist skinheads and neo-Nazis, which are not exactly quite the same thing, uh, but they were just a very small proportion of the population and even a small proportion of extreme right wingers in West Germany. Now, these groups had been around since the 1970s and then West Germany had its own well-known trial where for the first time, and it was in 1979, uh, some neo-Nazis who had committed violent crimes were put on trial. And uh, however, this, this whole trial was reported widely in the West German press. And at the end of it, the, uh, there's an organization called the, the Bundesamt für Verfassungsschutz, which is the, the federal organization charged with, with taking care of these things. They admitted that uh, along with the left-wing terrorism that had existed uh, throughout the 70s, that they also had a right-wing terrorist problem. Despite this though, there has been a lot of criticism uh, and was in the 1980s too of the federal government for their general lack of zeal in tracking and uh, prosecuting these groups and that uh, a lot of a lot of people in West Germany thought that maybe they were underestimating the threat that these groups posed. Um, this may have been because right-wing extremists tend to choose different targets than left-wing extremists. So the left-wing terrorist cells in West Germany of the 1970s, they choose uh, targets that are emblematic of the apparatus of the state or the or powerful people that are aligned with the state, right? Whereas the right-wing terrorists tended to attack the relatively powerless in society. So it's a very different dynamic. They were going after mainly immigrants or asylum seekers, uh, Jews, gay men and women, or uh, the Roma population. 